Thank you very much, Dr. Vera Bupandu from uh, Yongtai Bhutan for joining us today. And for my first question, based on your recent second quarter results, Yongtai managed to return to the black with a net profit of 690,000 ringgit from a loss of 6 million ringgit a year ago, despite posing low revenue. So we were just curious on how the managed, uh, company managed to achieve such good results, even though there was a stall in many of the property development projects since MCO was implemented last year. Yeah, I think first of all, if you look at it, is uh, we have already been continuous second quarter. I think last year is uh, the toughest years for us. La. So most of the project in last year, basically, we are, are in the... You see, last year, like our Yutan project, we are on the basement stage. Then our this Amber Co projects, we are on the podium stage and all those things. So all these uh, projects, when they are on the basement podium stage, that it doesn't generate us any bailing or any turnover recognitions. So whereas uh, we have passed through that most difficult time last year already. So now uh, we are entering into uh, towards the second half of last year, uh, which is this financial year. Uh, we are entering into uh, building into all those stage where we have the bailing, we can build our purchaser. In fact, those projects we have, uh, like our Ember Cove is uh, 90 over percent fully sold. Uh, so our Yutan project also about 60 percent sales and all those now. So the Apple project also we resumed work last year and all those things. So that's how it contributed uh, to our uh, turnover and the profit recognitions. Yeah. So and uh, make us where we are la. So based on what you okay. just you just mentioned, uh, do you expect the company to fare a lot better for this financial year? I would say that this financial year we will be able to quite stable because we have the sales, we have we still have the unbuilt sales of about three, four hundred millions and the balance stock of another about three hundred plus millions to clear. So I think that is what we are targeting. Uh, by doing so and by having the work progress continuous, I think we should be able to continue to rec called a reasonably, in a way, a reasonable result. So whereas uh, most of the things really, uh, most, most of the negative parts, the losses, the whatever thing, to a certain extent, we already kitchen sink last year already, like in our last financial year. What is your total outstanding GDP of all your projects currently? Okay, if we talk about the total outstanding of uh, the GDP, our impression cities uh, have a total GDP of 8 billion, but we, on we only probably uh, commence around about 800 million. So we still have about 7 plus billion to go. So plus uh, another a few, I think we still have about 7, 8 billion of GDP to go. La. Yeah, the balance uh, undeveloped uh, land bank. So whereas uh, until uh, sales, we have another about uh, 370 to go and uh, the balance stock and so stock still about 300 million. Moving on, how soon do you expect your tourism business to start picking up uh, this year? What is your projection for this segment? Frankly speaking, we don't expect the tourism uh, business to be able to pick up anything this year. Same to similar to our property, besides those that we have already launched and we have already under construction, uh, we don't see property sectors will recover very soon in the uh, not even uh, this year definitely is not a good time to recover uh, we don't see there's any chance so uh, probably in the next another one to two years time so, so and that's why uh, these are the two sectors that uh, we seriously uh, we experience a bad hit from the tourism and uh, the property especially the tourism it, actually even until today uh, government also cannot give us a date when can they open the border for tourists to come in so in the uh, during the last year and all those things ever since the MCO uh, since last March uh, we actually tried uh, when the governments go into a CMCO we did try plan for wanted to resume our theater and all those things in the month of around September but then October comes CMCO again then we plan for year end December but come MCO again and all those things so we plan for February this year supposed uh, to ride along the Chinese New Year time hoping to tap along some tourists but again under MCO people are not allowed to travel so we have gone through many rounds that we do plan to think of how to resume the tourism business and generate income but unfortunately every time we plan but every time there are new situations come in so that uh, nothing much we can do uh, probably uh, until governments can give us a firm date when the border can be opened then only we can uh, start to work on that other than that uh, we don't see tourism can recover much uh, for this year also yeah. I 
I understand that uh, your company has uh, targeted to submit the phase three clini clinical trials uh, together with the yeah. phase two clinical data to MOH by early March 2021 and uh, right. the first day of March. Uh, so what is the latest update on this development? Yeah, actually, we are on track. Uh, we already got the phase one, phase two data already. And even the phase three protocol, we also received already. So we are just doing some fine tuning on the phase three protocol. So with that, our CRO appointed uh, will be uh, doing the submissions to MOH targeting probably by either end of this week or early next week, we should be able to do to file in our submissions officially. And also, now that the government has started to roll out uh, vaccines to the general public, beginning with frontliners, do you anticipate that this mm. will affect your, your current venture into the vaccine business? Okay, I think government is doing what the government responsibility to ensure that our all the publics, all the citizens are getting the vaccines and all those things, which is that's definitely good for everyone. But we always believe that the private sectors like us, we also can play our role. To achieve the herd immunities for, uh, in order for all the uh, business activities, the life to be back to normal, I think our societies need to achieve a herd immunity. And I think what the privates can play the role in this part is actually uh, to help the governments to achieve it the soonest possible. Yes, governments uh, have done their part. Uh, they have secured all the vaccines from the relevant manufacturers and all those things. So, but if we private sectors can help up in uh, securing faster, and uh, uh, let our society, let our country achieve the herd immunity faster. That will be more helpful uh, to the general public and also that will be helpful to our economy and all those things. Uh, definitely, I believe that there are still some roles uh, for a genuine uh, private players to play when it comes to all those things. Yeah. And what will be your expected revenue contribution from this uh, new venture? Do you expect this sector to start contributing a lot to this company this year? It depends because in our agreement with the Sunshine Kangtai, we will get about 10 million doses a year plus and another options of 10 million doses. Uh. So of course, we can uh, supply to Malaysia or even some other ASEAN country and uh, also some Indian subcontinentals where our partners doesn't have the ex existence over there. So uh, for a 10 million doses, that will be able to generate, if we can, uh, everything smooth, if we can get that vaccines, the trial result has to be uh, positive and to be encouraging, then we can actually roll out uh, sometimes towards the third quarter or the fourth quarter this year, that will be able to generate us uh, a good uh, income, a cash flow and all those things. Uh. But of course, we uh, vaccines is more for to help the people to be uh, to be able to live back to normal. So uh, we do not expect, uh, we do not want to price it overly, pricing it very high or whatever thing. We want to make sure it is affordable for everyone to be able to get vaccinated. So uh, the intention is not to make a, a huge profits from there or whatever thing. So then generate the revenue uh, with some good cash flow for the company and also to uh, turn around the situations as soon as possible so that uh, our uh, property, our other business, everything can be back to normal. Finally, Dr. Vira, are you planning to venture to any uh, new businesses this year? Of course, uh, we are looking into some other uh, new thing. Put it this way, as what we mentioned, uh, tourism and property will be facing tough times uh, in the next one, two years. So uh, vaccine is a short-term thing until the societies get vaccinated. So on top of that, we also never rule out the potential of uh, looking into some other business that can generate the immediate revenue and give us a good result uh, for the company. Because somehow or other, we are still a public listed company. We still need to be uh, answerable to our shareholder. We need to be able to generate revenue, cash flow and profits. We, uh, everything needs to be translated into the PL. We did not rule out that, yes, we are, negoti we are negotiating, looking into some new venture. Uh, but uh, until the times come, we will announce to everyone. Okay. Right. That's pretty much everything I have today. Thank you very much, Dr. Vira. Yeah, no problem. Right, thank you.